before we continue, hi and welcome. So unfortunately, for a good part of this video, I did not realize that my microphone was not picking up any sounds correctly. Actually, all the audio was corrupted in some way. I, I couldn't work with it, like you could barely hear me. It, it sounded like there's something blocking the microphone even though there wasn't. Anyway, um, don't worry, not the entire video is a voiceover. I did realize the problem at some point. So I ended up fixing it and then I finished the analysis of the banks. So all that was, was actually a coupon for the next purchase, which is actually quite nice. As you can see, the kit that I got was a Stingray lookalike. It looks almost exactly the same. The only thing that doesn't look the same would be the headstock. It's slightly different, but I actually really do like the headstock to say, but that is, um, that part is coming up soon. Here I'm kind of telling you guys about how I've never actually owned a Stingray before. I've borrowed one and I was borrowing one from a friend just to see the differences between a Stingray and at the time an ATK base. So I had an ATK base, it was quite nice. It was a five string ATK and my friend had a four string Stingray. I did like my ATK a bit better but at the same time I was very inexperienced as a bass player. I had only been playing for a couple of years by then. So that's what I was talking about when I was observing the bass. As soon as I pulled this bag out, a small little screw came out and I wasn't sure where the screw belonged to. It actually belonged to a machine head. At the moment I was just completely confused, like, oh, where did this come from? But anyway, so be sure that when you're opening this, be careful, be sure you have some space and that you try to keep everything within the box so if something does fall, it falls into the box, like how it did for me. Okay, so let me start over. Um, that first footage that I had, I didn't realize that my microphone was just not on. It was on, but I don't know, it didn't pick up any of the audio, which is when I was looking back at it. So I'm not going to put it back together and pretend that, oh, you know, I'm just opening it for the first time. I'm, I'm not doing that, but I'm just gonna go over what's inside the kit and what I've observed. So, um, the first thing that I grabbed was actually the base. And this is a mahogany base body. And of course it looks just like the Music Man, which I'm very, very excited about. Haven't had a base with this kind of pickup in a very, very long time. So I'm excited to hear how this one sounds. 
So that's the body. The, the brain is actually very nice. It's very rough, which is fantastic. Because that means I don't have to do that much sanding before I actually paint on it um, with the white that is. And so that's the body. That's what I said about the body. And um, the neck piece. So with the neck piece, very nice. And um, a couple of things I've observed was that when I was running my fingers through the frets, um, they sometimes stop a little bit, meaning that the frets need a little bit of work, you know, some filing, but honestly it's really not a big deal. This actually is very nicely done, you can't really see it, but it's very nicely done. I really like how they did that. And, um, so there's no finish on the fretboard. The fretboard is a rose wood fretboard, a standard fretboard. The, the headstock is interesting because it kind of looks like a music man, but kind of looks like a fender. Like it's just between the two in a way. Um, so that's the neck. Now when it comes to all the parts, the parts, be sure also, by the way, when you do go on here, be sure that you put in solo music gear, not sologuitars.com, because if you do, then it'll just come off as an error and you won't see anything. So be sure you put solo music gear, solomusicgear.com, and then as follows, uh, wiring diagrams. So be sure you visit that. Be sure you visit um, the list that you have there as well. Make sure that all your parts are in the box and you're not missing any. So that's that. So what I received is, is the control plate for the control, of course. Now I did receive a small screw. I'm not sure. I might have cut that part out actually, but there's a little screw that fell out of the package as as soon as unpackaging it. So I put it in this bag for now, I'm not sure where it belongs just yet. I do have to look at the list as well online, so um, anyways. This is for the neck plate. There's two Allen keys in there. There's the screws for the, str um, for the strap. And let's see, further. These are the machine heads for the headstock. This bag has not only a machine head in it, but all the parts that you need. This is the fridge plate as with the saddles and of course the strings. That was what was included. There's also a guitar pick that they gave me, which is very nice of them. And that's pretty much it. So, um, I'm very excited to paint on this. It's been quite some time since I've had a new four string. Actually, originally, um, someone else bought the space and uh, I thought that they wanted me to paint on it for them and everything, but they actually bought it for me because I was, I was very excited about getting one myself and I told them all about this website and I'm like, oh, you know, you should go there for a base. And they're like, oh yeah, you know, I'm, I think I'm going to get one as a gift for somebody else. And I was like, okay. Um, turns out the gift was for me. I should have seen it coming, but anyways. Um, so I haven't had a new base in a very long time, as I mentioned. In fact, the very last one that I got was actually this one right here. This one was a squire. I got this after I moved to Canada, so it's been quite some time. And then the one before that is my left-handed bass. That's when I st still only play the bass left-handed. And I may actually paint this neck just how I painted this one here. I may do that. It's a lot of work, like a lot of work, but I might still do it anyways. Anyway, I'm very excited to get started on
painting this, putting it together, and seeing how this one sounds. Um, as I said, I was not expecting this space to be mine. I was expecting to just paint it, show it off to you all, and then give it to somebody that who obviously bought it. But as I said, they bought it for me, so um, I guess I'm keeping it. And so where did this do-it-yourself bass guitar kit come from? It came from solomusicgear.com. I do have a link down in the description below. It is my link, so if you do get something from there, you're also having me out as well. So please have a look at that. I urge you to do so. This is actually from a Canadian company, so any fellow Canadians out there, um, be very excited because the shipping is free and the kits are very, very inexpensive. I'm talking like really, really inexpensive. Why, you may ask, because, well, you have to put it together yourself. And you, if you want it to be painted, you have to paint it yourself. You want it finished, you, want, you have to finish it yourself. You need to do fret work or any, um, anything, any work on the instrument, you have to do it yourself. So that's why they are inexpensive, in case of you were wondering. But, um, so I'm going to be working on this for quite some time, so be sure to check out my videos, and until next time, I love you all.